Hi there! I think you're gonna love this video because it's packed with tips and tricks I use daily to make my work efficient and faster. And without further ado, let's jump into Figma and see what we have here. Before we start, I just want to say that I'm using Safari for this tutorial because I have 3000 projects open everywhere and this is the only place where I can just do this tutorial. So it's, it's fine. It will not be different from your desktop app, I promise. Let's start with tip number one. Use forward slash to open a menu. It's a simple one, but so powerful. It looks something like this. Now menu is open. Everything that is here, I can access by typing something and search is immediately in focus so I can just start typing. Let me show you how I use it. Let's say I have this button and I need to translate it because I need to check how it looks with other languages, for example. And I have this one plugin for translation installed and this plugin has every language as a sub menu so what i'm gonna do is command forward slash and let's say which language japanese yes boom we're gonna wait a little bit there you go it's translated and i access that from a menu with command forward slash neat right Next one is super easy, but maybe some of you don't use shortcuts that much and I'm gonna tell you how to quickly create auto layout group. So just select layers you want to put in auto layout group and then press shift A and bam. Which leads me to next tip, how to align this. In many cases you will have, let's say some title, some text, some buttons, some, I don't know, extra elements and they might be all centered, not you know, align to the left or to the right, but you want that behavior. And then what you need to do is manually click on a layer and then move it. Well, you don't need to do that. So what you can do is press enter and now you selected children. This is another trick for you. So basically when you have something selected like a parent and there are children beneath that like parent element, you just press enter and then you select all the children. This is super useful for auto layout. And now I want everything aligned to the left. So I don't have to use my mouse to click here. I can just press arrow left. How to collapse layers list. Sometimes you will have gazillion of open groups, frames, who knows what else. And you just want to collapse everything to have a little bit more visibility. So what you can do is like manually close everything, but no, we know shortcuts, so we will not do that. This is a small example, but let's say I just want to have this one open, like on the right. What I can do is select something inside of a card, like any child element, and then I can press Option, and then L, and then everything except this parent element will get collapsed. Maybe you're presenting something and you just want to have a little bit cleaner interface, and what you can do is press Command, backslash and all panels are gone. You just have your canvas with your elements. If you want to uh, return all the panels again, command backslash, they're back again. One note here, if you're using one password, um, password manager, it will clash with their shortcut to open their widget for, you know, password filling. What you can do is you can reassign whatever one password uses to be something else. I did that and now both apps work just fine. My seventh tip is all about how to navigate your layers panel and for example rename them without using mouse. Let's start. So first with tab you move between siblings. So these two cards are siblings. And as you can see I already changed names for the this right card over here and I want to do the same for the first one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna press enter, as we mentioned before. Now we are, um, we are we have children selected and what I'm gonna do is press tab again to select only one. And then, well, because I'm in Safari, I need to press shift command R to rename, otherwise it's just command R, but okay. And I can put, let's say, title, enter, Tap again, rename, image, enter. How do you go back? Shift, enter. Now you're again at 
parents which are siblings at the same time and you can switch between those. This is how you can quickly rename stuff without leaving your keyboard and using your mouse super fast. My eighth tip is how to create batch components. You probably know all about it, but I'm just gonna repeat for those in the back seat. So I'm gonna rename this because naming structure really matters and I'm gonna call it, let's say, card long, long tab, card short. And what, the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of those multiple components that's it now you have it that's very useful if you're creating a design system and then first you create a lot of variations of something so if you don't want to you know just create instances detach because you want to have your styles copied from the previous one it's a, it's a whole mess you don't want to do that just create everything and create batch components in the end and you're set my ninth tip for you is regarding zooming. Sometimes you will, well not sometimes, I uh, guess all the time you're gonna do this with your files and sometimes you're gonna be like super close but you want to see like 100% how it actually looks. Very simple, shift zero. This is 100% zoom and this is how it will look in the end. Super useful for presentations and of course just to make sure you're actually designing properly, not too big or too small or something like that. Tenth tip is how to copy paste properties. Sometimes you just quickly want to, I don't know, copy typography styles to something else. You can press option command C as copy and then select another text layer and then the same combination but with V in the end. And there you go, you just copied whatever styles this text element has to this one. Let's take a break. Oh, making these tutorials is not easy task, especially when you're speaking in not your mother tongue and also this is not a juice. My 11th tip is very useful when you are creating something with a certain spacings, like I'm referring to 8 point or 4, four point grid, for example. Sometimes you will nudge things, you know, you want to uh, follow increments and decrements of eight. See, super simple to follow that grid. What you can do is go to preferences, nudge amount, and you can put over here either four or I like to put eight. And that's about it. And then it's not jumping 10 pixels per click, uh, it's eight. Super useful for eight point grid. My 12th tip is for those who want to quickly add pictures to their designs. It's an old one, but I'm gonna repeat it for those again in the back seat. So it's Command Shift K. And then we're gonna select, let's say two pictures because we have two objects over here. And then you can just point at rectangles. And that's it. You just put pictures super easy if you have like tons of pictures and tons of these cards you need to fill this is the way to go super simple my 14th tip is how to bet your name stuff in figma so we have a bunch of cats over here in desktop app it's command r but i'm in browser so it's shift command r and then you have like loads of options to choose from here you can be a little bit more dynamic but i'm just gonna put card now every card will have a name of a card very easy and very simple way to keep your layers list clean we all want to be very neat in that field my 13th tip is how to change something on fly and actually push that to master component because sometimes you figure oh this is not working it's better to tweak it that way anyway you can click on your element, let's change it to red, and then you can select your component or instance, and then you just go to these three dots over here and push overrides to main component, and that's it. All of instances now have the same styles, super convenient. My last and 15th tip for you is how to zoom in into just portion of your designs. You just hold Z and select the part you want to zoom into, release, and that's it. Easy as that. And these are our tips and tricks for today. I think I know at least 15 more that I occasionally use, 
but this video would get a little bit too long if I would just include absolutely everything so maybe next time if you have some tips of your own please don't hesitate to put it in comments also if you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing that would mean a world to me uh, also I have a podcast called design party it's in description below you can check it out if you want to have a conversation with me co-host you can find me online and we can do an episode together and if you have some topics that you would like me to cover also write me in comments or anywhere where i am online and uh, i think we are done for today have a good one bye bye